hello guys so today we'll be talking about how to build this investment broker um i know you must have seen a lot of brokers but have you seen this yeah i call this the bacon trade script yeah it's it's a it's an investment broker and right now you can see me on the landing page you let, let's um observe this thing from the um from each section to each section so this is the euro section um you can see you have the testimonials here so you flip from one to the others you flip from one to the other te um, testimonial from um, um from assume people that have invested in this place yeah so you continue to scroll up you see certificates um you also see other certificate and also other awards um there's a video here for the big country traders i'm already edited so this is the video as you can see it's playing right now on the screen so there's how it works it's talking about crypto basically um let's continue going on this um it shows you everything from how to earn how to open an account and everything and this has no low in it it has been made already perfect the words has been chosen correctly now look at the plans here yeah so this plans also shows in your dashboard now let's look at the inside from the login page to the dashboard let's see what we have all right so this is our login page shows bacon traders so we'll click on sign in let's see what we have very good very good now let me ask that question again i know you must have, you must have seen a lot of brokers but have you seen this now let's see what we have on let's see what is showing uh um this thing on the very first time you enter the dashboard you are seeing your balance you are seeing the amount that is in your active trade you are seeing your total profit you are seeing your affiliate bonus so it's a broker that the affiliate um system works very well now you are seeing your total trade and you are seeing your referrals also so it has an affiliate um an affiliate um link for bonuses and you are seeing your referrals also so you fair and end basically that's it so um you also see these charts from trading view the first and second yeah so um then let's see what we have in our let's see how we'll print this dashboard let's see our fund accounts okay i think that's network okay let's see our fund accounts very good so you pay with either, you either pay with crypto then from the back end you can put any of these set any of these ones up from the admin then or you put the amount here yeah, hundred let's see a thousand proceed lead coin your lead coin um wallet shows how to pay with it you copy the wallet and you paste it so it also has a, a place where it shows um how you can go about getting purchasing bitcoin so where can i purchase bitcoin it's both leave it in there so it's showing uh, pay visas common pay local bitcoin crypto trust wallet as you can see it's giving you all these options so if you click there it takes you to crypto.com to get your coin okay so that's that for that Let, let's see how each of these things are from the my accounts the dashboard we have seen the dashboard my accounts uh, the fund account that's where we are now we see the withdrawal we see the invest let's see as much as we can check of this okay this is taking us to how to buy it's taking us to another place completely crypto.com here yeah? so it's taking us to crypto.com but we don't want crypto.com right now um let's continue uh, doing what we're doing i think i'm having network issues okay so come to let's see this let's see what we have here very good so if um you insert an image here the visa image you should be able to get something showing there so let's see i put this and i'll upload so guys this is a thumbnail from um this is a thumbnail from uh, youtube thumbnail from my new video also the link is going to be showing on this video right now um for shipments um websites a live tracking a live tracking this is this is a good live tracking but let's get back to the video so you can see it has showed here and also on the header it is showing now on the header so you can edit whatsoever you want to edit from here I, this is your profile now um we have looked at fund accounts let's look at withdrawal 
so we draw a set from the back also um in putting the amount you want to draw let's say 100 uh, bitcoin so enter bitcoin wallet you put it put it then you request withdraw okay so okay so basically the pin is the password so you get the password and tells you your withdrawal request has been sent and is awaiting confirmation so we can go back to the dashboard let's see what we have dashboard okay so that's that for the withdrawal um invest let's see the plans that are here and plans we can change so these are the plans basically you choose a plan and you have to put the amount that's in that plan now this this is eight thousand let's see what happens when we put below eight thousand let's put five thousand purchase purchase investments so invest amount should be lower should not be lower than eight thousand so let's see the invest uh, history let's see how this is now this is the investment history it is running 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 so this is the amount that was put this is the return now this is the amount that was put here this is the return this is the amount that was put here this is the return this is the amount that was put in the first part this is the return right now this is a beautiful and a very powerful investment broker now let's check the um transactions okay deposit history and withdrawal history let's see what we have and let's see how we have it there okay so as you can see that's the dates it has the um it has those things pending that is the uh, deposit that's it pending so when the ab admin approves it it shows um active yeah so let's see what we have our um transaction history let's see okay the dry history i just made one request now yeah now this is today's date the amount and transaction id yeah so let's see how it fares i know refer as here yet but now if you want to refer someone you can come here and copy this that link so you copy that link and that's the link you'll be sending to the person you want to refer now let's look at the account setting that has the profile and every other thing there so you can choose to update your profile or that's the user can choose to update their profile i've seen it before so let's see where they can update the profile from very good so here you can change your username your emails and so on and so forth so now let's sign out which is the last thing to do so that we can see we can dive into how to build this broker step to step process on how to build this broker and get something like this yeah so let's go to the main page for you to be able to build a website if you are if you are not building on your local host or if you are trying to get a website working like this with your script or anything you are trying to put a website online you need your c panel the very first one of the first things you have you'll be needing is your c panel now how to get your c panel c panel consists of your domain and your hosting now i've covered videos on how to do this before um the links will be under the description the links will also be showing at the top right now you can watch them and see how to get your domain and host them. Um, first thing first, I'll be going into my own C panel. So once you get your C panel and you get your C panel logins, you'll be introduced. You you see you welcome to a page like this, like this interface. It depends if you get your um, C panel from people that make their own C panel, like a company like Hostinga, they will give you an H panel. Yeah, so but most most of these hosting companies they give you things like this a C panel. Now once you get your C panel, the next place you're going to use your file manager. If you get your domain, your hosting for one website, you for the purpose of building one website, you have business with your public HTML. Your public HTML, everything you put in your public HTML is what shows when you load your ww dots. The index is what shows. Now, if you are building for one site. You need this part but for me i'm creating subdomains to be able to show you how to build this so i'm going to create a folder inside here called um one okay 
so this is what we just viewed but this is what we'll be using so once you are inside your, so once you get here now this is my own public html yeah so once you get here the fair first thing you do is to upload now i break my steps into theory you upload you you upload your files you set up your sql and also you do your edits you make you, you make your edits now you upload first thing first you are going to be uploading our file our file is back on so let's see just our file here okay so let's go into back on now, now this file so at the end of this video i'll be showing you how to get access to this file so let's wait for it to load So while it's loading, you can also um, start with your SQL, but this load, this happened really fast. This this one is going really fast, so let's wait for it. Very good. Now, we can go back when this thing shows green, not when it shows 100. Now, we'll go back. Um, now, we'll unzip this same word as extract. Unzip it here. Okay. So we'll close this then we'll refresh since we are not seeing anything so we open this back on select all and move it and move it to your public html for you you have to move it to your public html yeah but for me i'm i'm saying this for beginners let, let it be clear i'm saying this for beginners yeah so for me i'll have to move it into my own folder that i just created which is back on one in my public html so i move all the files there up one level then this is what we have now for this back on one the next step we have to do is to first before we go to that step let's download our sql our sql is inside here yeah? so download our sql download now we'll go to the cpanel um, main interface we'll click on um database wizard so that's database wizard we click on it what db so you go to db you can start with database and um, database beacon beacon pull one db just just make it any word that you can because what i'm trying to do this is i'm trying to make this database so i copy down one i copy what i wrote inside so i'm pasting it here again what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to make everything the same now I'll paste it inside the password again i'll paste it here again i'm trying to make the database the same database name the same database password the same that's what i'm trying to do so we'll click here and we'll click next step mind you we are in the next step upload is the first one second one is um, set up your database that's what we are doing now setting up the, the database so we click php my admin to look for what we just created okay this is what we just created here so come here we import we choose file we choose file and we we'll go to where we just downloaded our sql in the sql we just downloaded then we we'll import it very good it shows you that the import has successfully finished here um you come okay you come to our file manager here okay let's go up and let's set up this thing let's go to config db as you can see it here so we change it to what we have on our start pasting just that one thing once you create your database the way i've done you can paste everything like this so you don't have to confuse yourself what is the password which one is the although you can do it easily also you can just save this in your notepad 
but this is a very sweet a very sweet way a quicker way to do this so when you are done you save but before you save please let's change the mail you can change the mail now to um let's, let's do this demo hundred this is demo hundred beacon one that's what we are working on so now we can change the link and the okay can change the link yeah come here that's the host change it to this remove the remove the last slash so come here just do info at info at um demo 100 then we'll make this also we'll make this also the password you we'll add some numbers to it this this is how you set the mailer up of this particular script so this password is the password to your web mail of this email i don't know how to say that for to understand when you are on your web mail and you are creating this email info at demo the hundred which this is my link when you are creating yours this is the password that you create as or any password that was done there you set it here you bring it here so that you can connect to that web mail and use it to send your mails your registration mails your notification mails about withdraw about deposit and so on and so forth so once we are done with that you can click here now very good we have our site up um we can sign up let's see what we have okay first of all let me create this web mail so you understand what i'm trying to say um let's see email my account so we'll go to email account very good so we have um now let's create info okay info now this password here this is what will be the password that's what i'm trying to say then create that's what i'm trying to, that's what i was trying to see and yeah, so yeah yeah why don't we just do it so the first name let's make it demo test uh, the uh, the pass the now let's put the password Okay, so let's sign up. Very good. Yeah, very, very good. Now, this is our script. We have our script ready for use. Um, an important disclaimer on this video this video was made solely for educational purposes. Now, if you are want to get the script, um, you can text me on WhatsApp. My number will be written in the description of this video, not in the comment section. Now, you can text me on WhatsApp directly to get this or any of my socials, Instagram, Telegram. You can text me there to get this. Um, thank you very much. Please do like, subscribe and share. Thank you very much.